What's going on guys, unknown player here and today we've got some more Destiny 2 stuff to talk about. Bungie briefly mentioned their plans for the end game and the whole fixed role system and more importantly how they want to address the duplicate loot rewards which of course is one of the biggest issues right now. There's also some weird stuff about tokens dropping in nightfalls, one of my favourite weapons right now and some other things as well. So let's talk about the whole random weapon roll topic and Bungie's Luke Smith discussed it recently. This is all coming from Edge Magazine who you might remember made an article just before launch and now this one is post launch with Luke Smith and he goes through some of their thoughts now the game is out and the community has had a chance to play the game and this is coming from a website called WCCF Tech who quoted some of the things in the Edge Magazine so that is the source of this info. So Luke said an extremely high percentage of players have both finished the campaign and reached the level cap like a shocking number of players. I think it's a really interesting data point and the team should be really proud of that. It means when people enter the world, they're sticking around. I think one of the things we've got to make sure we're doing right is when you play for 80 to 90 hours, are you happy with where you've got your character to and is there new stuff for you to do? Are you interested in coming back? So I do find it pretty surprising that they're surprised that so many people reached the end game. Apparently it's a shocking number of players, but this game Destiny 2 leads you so perfectly into the end game, they did a pretty good job of it. So I'm not really sure why they're surprised, because unlike Destiny 1, you can actually reach the max level cap simply by patrolling now. So they seem to be very surprised by how many people actually hit the final level cap. Of course, towards the end, they did kind of mention how they're questioning what happens once you reach the end and making sure there's good stuff to do and are you interested in coming back? So that's kind of them addressing the whole end games topic and making sure people have something to do. So the most important thing he went on to say was regarding the decision to have fixed weapon rolls or fixed perks. And he said, I'm still a pretty big supporter of the change and so is the studio. He said, I believe that ultimately the Destiny franchise is heading towards becoming a collection game. I understand that we have some shortcomings right now that we need to address with respect to making duplicates matter. This is still one of the things we have ideas for. So once again, he mentions duplicates, which is the heart of the issue with Destiny 2's endgame right now. Duplicates are simply that, nothing different to your first one. And it's what Bungie, like he said, are trying to fix right now with these ideas. I actually brought this up a few days ago in a video how Luke Smith said, before launch, they have an idea to make your second, third and 10th better devils unique. And they have an idea they're pretty excited about apparently to make these duplicates different. But they obviously didn't have time to put it in launch. But they're still working on that. And now this interview is still confirming they still have those ideas and are trying to make duplicates different, which of course, again, is one of the biggest problems. And that's the main reason why people want random weapon rolls, because they want stuff to be different and not just getting the same at better devils over and over again, because right now they're the exact same thing and you're pretty much going to delete it unless it's a higher level. Now, the main thing this article confirms is the idea that Bungie probably aren't going to be adding random weapon rolls anytime soon in the future, but instead these ideas they have, which is the only thing we know, just some kind of ideas, those are going to be the alternative to random weapon rolls. So I personally think the most likely thing they're working on is going to be some kind of improvement to the weapon mod system, whereby you get perks as mods that you can then apply to weapons directly, or maybe dismantling a duplicate gives you a random mod or a perk or something to make your initial item, the duplicate, more interesting or more unique. But to me, it makes the most sense because you have this very empty mod system with a ton of potential. I mean, right now you have kinetic weapons with just a plus five damage mod, which is completely pointless. I mean, other than boosting your light level and then on energy weapons, you can just change the elements. So that's my guess. And again, Luke is giving the impression they won't be bringing back random weapon rolls, but instead keeping the fixed system and adding in these new ideas they have to make your duplicates unique. Now, in terms of my own thoughts, you guys know where I stand. I love the idea of random weapon rolls. It definitely wasn't perfect in Destiny 1, but I never saw anyone complaining about the system, to be honest. People definitely complained about RNG, but no one complained about the actual rolls themselves. I don't think the possibility of different perks and weapon was inherently bad. Just the grind for the stuff and the actual RNG could definitely see some improvement. I always think they should just take out the garbage perks. That way, every roll is a good one, and it's just a case of getting the one you like, be it more stability, more reload, explosive rounds, whatever perk you want, and every single roll is decent. You know, things like Gorilla Fighter and Exhumed and all those trash perks. Now, there was a ton of comments on the video where I talked about this before, which was awesome to see your thoughts and opinions. I'd say the majority does want a form of random weapon rolls back, but there is still a ton of people that like the fixed system. So it is just a case that whatever Bungie do, people obviously won't be happy. You can never please everyone. So it is, of course, a very complicated decision. But as always, comment down below. I want to see what you guys think of this info that fixed rolls are here to stay. And what do you want to see Bungie implement to solve the issue of duplicates meaning nothing? So moving on to the next quick topic, something a couple of you guys have been telling me about in the comments and on Twitter is apparently getting tokens, faction tokens even, from the Nightfall Strike. One of my Twitter followers called Cellstats and another one called Sebastian 
tweeted me this image showing the dead orbit token dropping after a nightfall and he said he was actually pledged to future war cult which is really strange so he's getting dead orbit tokens which he wasn't even pledged to after doing the nightfall obviously this is super weird because victory week is now over and you shouldn't be able to earn any tokens right now it should be completely locked off and of course everyone had their faction tokens wiped and taken away from them with the latest weekly reset so it seems to be a little bit of a bug and maybe you can still get some tokens from certain activities and it makes you wonder if you can still turn them in and maybe get some loot rewards from them but of course comment down below if any of you guys have also gotten some faction tokens from activities so I also wanted to quickly clarify something about yesterday's video. I saw a ton of people really confused saying you can still get to this area I showed off in the Mida quest also known as Enhance. But that isn't actually true. Even the supply and demand adventure doesn't take you here either. So you cannot get to this area in any quest or adventure or mission. Trust me on that. So in the Mida quest you do take this very first barrier down with explosives you plant and then do a couple more barriers. But there's still another barrier later on, as you can see right here, blocking the secret area, which is ahead. So in the Mida quest, you hop on the teleporter down there to the right and back to a different part of the EDZ. But this barrier still blocks the entire secret area and the fallen base I was showing off. So once again, what I said in the video still stands. This is a completely inaccessible area. So no quest or adventure takes you where I am right now, even the Mida quest. So I hope that clears up some of the confusion. So next up, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite loot rewards I've gotten recently and why you should definitely be using this thing, of course, the Time at War Inspire, the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle. So this thing is pretty unique because obviously, if you don't know, it is the fastest rate of fire. And right now in Destiny 2, there is only two weapons in the entire game that have this archetype, two legendaries. There is a blue weapon, but it's pretty trash. So there's two weapons, the Time at War this thing, and the other one is this weapon, the Lincoln Green. So pretty similar to Destiny 1, how the fastest rate of fire pulse rifles only have a few weapons in there, there's only two, so it's a very, very rare archetype. So the interesting thing to know is that the Time Worn Spire is better in every single way to the Lincoln Green, there's basically no comparison. So the Time Worn Spire has a little bit more range, more stability, more reload, more handling, a bigger inventory size, and more aim assist, and a bigger magazine size. So this thing is basically better in every single way, there's not a single point where the Lincoln Green improves. So if you are looking for a fast rate of fire pulse rifle, this thing is hands down the best choice. And in Crucible, this thing is a lot of fun. Would not recommend it for PvE because it just goes through ammo so quickly. But in Crucible, this thing feels a lot like the Clever Dragon right now in Destiny 1, the nerfed version, not when it was crazy good. This thing is just a very good melt machine. And of course, it's a reskin of the Nightshade, so it looks and feels great. But there you go, one of my favorite weapons to use right now in Crucible. As always, if you enjoyed the video and want to help support the channel, then a like rating down below would be much appreciated. If you want to watch a video I made talking about some pretty interesting Overwatch Easter eggs inside Destiny 2 and some DLC info, then click the image on screen right now, and I'll see you guys in the next one.